Hello, this is the question. Faith wanted to buy a digital camera. She saved two over seven of the cost of the camera in the first week. In the second week, she saved forty-six dollars less than the amount she saved in the first week. She managed to save the remaining two hundred and twenty-three dollars in the third week. How much did the digital camera cost? So again, we can apply the three-step method into this particular question. Assign units, identify relationship, solve the units. Let's see how we can actually apply them in this into this question. Assign units. So how many units would you assign to be the cost of the camera? Looking at a fraction two over seven, students should be able to assign the cost of the uh, assign seven units to be the cost of the camera. Then, in the second week, oh sorry, she saved two over seven of the cost of the camera in the first week. So meaning to say, in the first week she saved two units because two over seven times seven we get two. So what is left will be the whatever whatever that is saved in the second and the third weeks, and that will be five units. From there. We can proceed to find or to express the number of units, um, the cost, or rather her savings for second and third week. We are told that she saved forty-six dollars less than the amount she saved in the first week. It's not a full two units; it is forty-six dollars less than two units. So bear in mind, it's not a full two units. So how could we express it in terms of units? We just take away. So two units take away forty six dollars. So of course, whatever there is left must be for the third week. So third week must be three units plus forty six, because in total, for the second and third weeks, it must be five units. From then on, student will be able to solve the units, because we were told that she saved. The remaining two hundred and twenty-three dollars in the third week. So the third week, in terms of units, is three U plus forty-six is equivalent to two hundred and twenty-three. So rearranging them, three units becomes your one hundred and seventy-seven dollars. So one unit is fifty-nine dollars. Seven units will be four hundred and thirteen. So that is how we solve the questions. Simple, straightforward. Student may not even need to draw model if do they do understand the meaning of, um, it, like working with algebra, working with um, whole numbers and units. That's the end of the presentation. Thank you.